You know, I never really put much thought into the character of Endeavor. I mean, it's not like I hate him or that he's a bad character. I just feel like, for the most part, he has always been used more as a development tool than an actual character. He hasn't really had much screen time. So, naturally, I'm going to talk about him as if I know everything whilst making grand assumptions off of mere speculation. Endeavor is secretly all might in disguise. But today, I want to talk about Endeavor's new dilemma. His trouble with filling the shoes that All Might left after retiring and leaving Endeavor the new number one hero. But first, a bit of context. Endeavor is the ex number two hero and now number one ranked hero. His quirk is aptly named Hellfire. <clears throat> Means he can control flames. We've seen him use his flames with incredible versatility, changing the temperatures at will and even forming them into spears and using them as projectiles. Not to mention, if you can tell by his physique, he seems to have some pretty incredible strength as well. And from what the show has mentioned so far, he's incredibly smart. I mean, this dude has definitely earned the title as one of the top heroes. Granted, as the anime is not afraid of showing us, Endeavor is a bit of a jerk. Endeavor has this idea that to be the number one hero, you have to work harder than everyone else. Which is a good philosophy to start with, but as we see when the show continues, he's kind of doing a bad job at being this whole number one hero thing. And as we've seen, it's definitely not for a lack of trying. Endeavor has single-handedly put in more work, captured more villains, and just all around has been on top of his game. Yet, since he's taken over, Crime rates have still increased. So, what does that mean? Do people just not have any respect for Endeavor? Well, I beg to differ. I mean, look at whenever Endeavor enters a room. He has quite an overwhelming presence. Hell, even in this episode, people recognize Endeavor before they recognize All Might. But here is the key difference between the two. Look at how people react when Endeavor enters the room versus when All Might enters the room. All Might embodies this very idea of hope and peace. I mean, he is literally referred to as the symbol of peace. However, Endeavor is a bit different. Endeavor is more feared by the rest of the world than looked up to. He is this person who does not compromise and will go to extreme lengths in order to attain complete decisive victory. <clears throat> Sound familiar? I mean, a good example of this is when he became the number one hero, not through his own hard work, but because All Might was forced to retire. In his mind, he didn't decisively earn the title as number one hero, so this actually bothers him quite a bit. Another place where Endeavor needs to cool it down is with his family. I mean, the dude married his wife simply for her quirk in the hopes that their offspring would have a fire and ice quirk. I mean, that's some downright creepy stuff. And once he got a kid with that quirk, he trained him until he was emotionally insecure and hated him. I mean, that's just literally Todoroki's personality. Hey guys, have I mentioned how much I hate my dad? Like, Jesus, that just sounds like something a villain would do. Yet, as we see, I think this is just the classic case of ambition unchecked. I mean, Endeavor is just too extreme. Leading me back to my point, Endeavor is respected, but in a very different way than All Might. Whereas All Might would inspire other heroes to fight, Endeavor more or less controls them by fear. And not like in a particularly evil way, he is just so far lost in his own goals of proving that he deserves to be the number one hero, he fails to see the damage that he is causing around him. Endeavor is accidentally destroying all of what All Might has created, and in the most recent episode, we begin to see him recognize this. Asking All Might, his arch nemesis, what he is doing wrong. And frankly, to me, it's pretty simple. Stop being a jerk. Endeavor could never be the symbol of peace. But who says he has to be that? He just needs to inspire others, and I think what Endeavor needs to do is just change how he's perceived. Instead of being someone known as a jerk, try to act more gracious in victory. 
Become the symbol of absolute victory and hard work. Inspire other heroes to train and go to the same extreme lengths that you do. Inspiration comes in many different shapes and sizes, and that's what Endeavor needs to understand. He can still inspire, but he has to lead as someone who is understanding and willing to help others. I think this is the key to making Endeavor the next number one hero. Whereas All Might could lead with a giant smile, Endeavor can lead by teaching, discipline, and hard work, while trying his best to just not be a jerk about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. A huge thank you to my patrons. You guys are my heroes. Make sure you guys share, like, comment, and subscribe. This is Mammy Matt. Make sure you guys say man and go watch that goddamned anime.